God compares an akazu so that my household can be full. So when a principality brings government, you need another agent to compare people to come. You can build a church but to be empty. A friend of mine was engaging in the place of prayer. And this man, his, his greatest strength is brokenness and love. And as he was praying, he was carried to heaven. And they took him to a room. And he saw Abraham studying. And Abraham looked up. And he just knew. Because there they don't introduce people. We are one. That's why when Moses and Elijah appeared. No, they didn't need introduction. Peter gave straight. Moses and Elijah. He was accurate. When you enter there, you don't need introduction. And Abraham looked at him. And they were communicating with their thoughts. Where is this place? He said, this is the library of God. And he said, what's going on here? He said, this particular room is only allowed for the friends of God. Only the friends of God come here. What do you study here? He now showed him the book. It's called the heart of the father. So they are looking at the different dimensions of the heart of God. And that's all they do. The gates where men like Enoch dwell. Those who walk with God. And so for all eternity, all they do is to study the many strings of the heart of God. And when you start studying the heart of God, all the strings there have different melodies to provoke intimacies that you cannot explain with words. That man came from there and his life became wasted. His name is Dan Badias. That's why when, if even when he's ministering, he can't preach. There are no words anymore. He has entered into the reality. He saw it. But it's through the fellowship. And on another occasion, God told them that he was going to visit them and trigger a revival. He gave them the date. And they started prayers. Six months. Praying. Fasting. Praying. The devil knew that something was happening. You know, the devil does not have accurate information. So he preempts. Did God say? Did God say? And the devil was checking. When he saw that their momentum was becoming too strong, he tried to stop the prayer. He couldn't. He now went among them and caused division. One came and said, why are you always having encounters? Another one came and said, why are you always talking deep things? And petty, petty things. On the day of the encounter, the Holy Ghost came down. And one of them saw an angel came to the door and stood and went back. Their heart couldn't receive him. Because they were not single at heart. The devil does this at every level. Because there's a visitation for every company. Wherever two or three are gathered, wherever they are gathered, there is a divine ordination allocated. It can be a massive church, it can be a small organization, it can be a family. Watch out. If anything threatens your fellowship, know that you are about to, ad to, to abort divine purpose. The second level of fellowship is the fellowship of the saints. From gathering together, to one accord to singleness of heart see the way paul paints it that's why i told you this is a basis for maturity first corinthians chapter one from verse four to verse seven paul said i thank my god always on your behalf for the grace of god which is given to you by jesus christ verse five he said that in everything you are everything you are enriched in him in all utterance and in all knowledge they have every utterance if they talk you think it's an angel and they know all the secrets of god this is the church go to verse 6 he said even as the testimony of christ was confirmed in you verse 7 so that you come behind in no gift as you wait for the coming of jesus they had all utterance they had all knowledge they did not come behind in any gift but see the maturity of that church chapter 3 from verse 1 if we can't love ourselves, forget what we are doing is drama. Authority can't be given to us. Open heaven, we can't enjoy it. And we cannot enjoy explosion. And we need these three things to take over our world. But it will be lucky. And I, brethren, could not speak unto you as unto, the, as unto spiritual. How can people who have utterance, who have all knowledge, who manifest all gifts, not be spiritual? I'll tell you, you'll see why. He said, but as unto Cana, even as unto babes. Are you seeing the three qualifications of this church? On spiritual, Cana, and babes. This is the church that manifests all gifts. Have all utterance. Have all knowledge. Go to the next verse. I have fed you with milk and not with meat. For hitherto, hitherto you were not able to bear it. Neither yet 
now are you able next verse for you are carnal for whereas there is among you envy and strife and division are you not carnal don't you walk as men so the gift is not the status of maturity the utterance is not the status of maturity the knowledge is not the definition of maturity what is the quality of our relationship with one another when we become mature and when we truly love God the way it will show is in our relationship with one another so when you find a man or a woman who can love the brethren he doesn't know God and he doesn't love God that's what the Bible teaches the third level of fellowship is the fellowship of the mysteries I told you there are five levels Elohim, Elohim Adonai, Elohim Adonai, Elohim Adonai, Elohim Adonai. For a moment, let's travel. Let's travel. Or do I stop here so that we'll go and apply these ones we have learned? <laughs> Maybe we should go and we should take a recess and apply these ones. This is fellowship. That's why I call it the fellowships of the spirit because these are spiritual realities. Fellowship does not is not is deeper than what you think. Oh. A man can pray fast and he thinks. He's deep with God. But when they start assessing him, they will assess him first from foundational truths. Do you know them? His faith is standing on nothing. And then they will assess him based on his relationship with one another. And you'll be wondering, Lord, we have been here praying for several years. Why are you now putting your hand on these people who came last month? They have passed the fellowship. You have mastered how to fast. And you have fasted for 10 years. You have mastered how to pray, but you have not learned how to relate. So God can't see love in you. This is why some people get offended. They are in a the ministry. They prayed for eight years. Somebody has came. Two years later, God exhort that person. And as far as they are concerned, this person has to wait for eight years. The equation is not like that. I, the Lord, I try the heart. I judge the reins in order to give to every man as his ways should be in this business for 15 years see these people who just came yesterday they think they are something we will show them that we know this thing more yes you know it more but promotion does not come from the east it does not come from the south it comes from the lord there's an invisible finger that exhorts men so you know but there's a, there's a secret fellowship every christian must learn this and watch out for it I read the scripture that humbled me. Proverbs 13 verse 10. It said the foundation of every strife is pride. When two people are quarreling, they are proud people. Either both of them are proud or one is pride. Or proud. It's pride cannot not exist. It humbled me greatly when I read it. Only by pride come a contention. Proverbs 13. That's why we can't have fellowship. So when, when God comes to weigh our fellowship, He's not moved by the number. You know, it's because of the pressure of our generation. We want to put picture on, online. The main hall is 12,000. Overflow 1 is 3,000. Overflow 2 is 4,000. And like my media people must be doing now. Because they're happy that there's overflow. You see, overflow. They will record. When spirits come here, they are not moved by the number. When they check, what is the patience quadrant? What is the tolerance quadrant? What is the love quadrant? What is the truth quadrant? What is the selflessness? Those are the things they check to grade the stature of a fellowship. And so when that fellowship is praying, that's their rank in the spirit. Don't it shock you? Come to Africa. Come to Nigeria. On Sunday, many cities are empty because everybody is in church. 
but you can't find the, the fellowship that can wield the power that can stop corruption. You can't find the fellowship that can wield the power that can bring economic advancement. And when election comes, all of us are quarreling on the altar. This thing is deeper than quarrel. There's a strategy for bringing the government of God into a territory. And one of it is the quality of the fellowship of the saints. Even those who are leaders of the church can't sit together. How can we create change? And not because they are bad, but there are few who will let it. So the generation rising must understand the place of unity, the place of oneness, because a lot depends on it.